Are you here for school? Yes. What's your name? Mary McLeod. Can I help you carry them books? Those books. Those books. Yes. Thank you, Mary. Why are you so early? It's five miles, and I didn't know how long it would take to walk over here. You walked five miles by yourself. How old are you, Mary? Eleven. I run most of the way. Why did you come by yourself? Don't you have brothers and sisters? I have two younger brothers, but they too small to come. And 14 big brothers and sisters, but they too busy with work and such. But when you teach me how to read, I can teach all of them how to read too. True. Miss Mary McLeod, you ran five miles before breakfast, and you are the 15th of 17 children. Yes, and. This is your desk. And this is your first book. But I can't read it. I, I don't even know its name. You will read it. This is the best day ever, better than birthdays and Christmas and all the other days. In 1904, with only six students and desks made out of discarded milk crates, Mary McLeod Bethune started her own school for girls. In 1931, she became president of Bethune-Cookman College, and shortly after, she was invited to the White House by President Roosevelt and First Lady Eleanor. Right this way, Miss Bethune. What an honor to meet you. The honor is mine, Mrs. Roosevelt. You know, you were the president of a college when there was hardly a woman college president anywhere in the world. Well, when you start a little school and grow it up to be a college, no one can tell you no to being president. Your college is thriving now while others are failing, and I know why. It is our pledge to make a lasting contribution to all that is finest and best in America, to cherish and enrich her heritage of freedom by working to integrate all her people, regardless of race, creed, or national origin. I can't believe I'm sitting in the White House and the First Lady is quoting me to me. How is this fire born in you? Have you always had it? Well, when I was a little girl, I went with Mama to deliver laundry to a white lady's house, and I picked a book up and the child snatched it away. You can't read, she said. And I decided that that was the only difference between white and black folks, was that white folks could read. My whole life was based on that. God bless that little brat, wherever she may be. <laughs> She helped create a great woman who's brought the light into thousands of lives. I'm going to the National Convention of Women in Florida. I've asked to be seated next to you on the platform. Now, oh, Mrs. Roosevelt, you know it's against the law in the state of Florida for white and black folks to sit next to each other. I know. I'd like to see the officer with the gumption to try and arrest the two of us. Yeah, that would be a whole heap of gumption at that. <laughs> yes, a whole heap. <laughs> President Roosevelt is ready to meet Mrs. Bethune now. Oh, my, oh, my. Christmas and birthdays all rolled into one. 